What's up, everybody? Give us a moment here as we get things started. I'm in this hot-ass fucking robe. And uh, we are going to get the stream started here in a moment. We will, of course, have a special guest coming on. Um, Blaze, I know it's going to be annoying as hell for the background sound and shit. But can we please have the fan on? This thing's a hot man. Uh, yeah, I'll put it on. Yes. Trust me, these are you'd be surprised. These robes are a lot warmer than they look. Trust me. They really do seem like something that's like really like they really do seem like something that's more um like I got a lighter version, right? This is the lighter fabric. So you would think that it wouldn't be as hot. Oh my god. If it is not, like, I'm, like, sweating right now, like, hardcore, man. <coughs> that being said, welcome to the stream. Um, we have a special guest that will be joining us here, too. Um, there's a possibility that I might bring my guys on. They're going to help me out with the house. Uh, maybe midstream, end of stream to kind of help kind of go over some of the stuff we're doing. We got some really good ideas. Uh, just in general, this is this is going to be a fun experience. Um, for those of you who don't know, uh, in a way, this is going to help me feel a little closer to my parents. My father worked construction. He did drywall. Um, and then my mother... When she was about 12, helped my grandfather build their house, like from scratch. So, of course, that's, um, I'm sorry, I got the thing the egg. But uh, that, that is definitely something that is going to, I'm trying to find the right words, but I don't want, I don't want to say, say connected because it's just, me building my home like i feel like there'll be a tighter connection i don't know <coughs> i'm gonna be honest i don't know um can i see the chair real quick i are trying to get our uh, guest set up here but i just want to do some chat here but yeah my uh, Chris is hyper barren. What? Yeah. I'm pretty. Uh, we come in to see you uh, for another music video shoot at some point, bro. New York now, right? 
I mean, I am in New York. It's a good spot. It's real fun. Uh, that being said, ladies and gentlemen, are we going right? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we are about to bring someone in that has not been here for a while um, to chat with us, hopefully clear the air uh, on his side of things, um, and generally try to have a good conversation and see what happens. That being said, y'all know who he is. Y'all love him. Let's bring him on, shall we? My buddy, Robert Buckmaster. Let's see if we can man it in. Can you hear me now? Yes, we can hear you now. My man. Chris, are you stupid? What do you mean? Am I stupid? Are you really convinced that, that the dude you face in the last lightsaber duel is really my son? Are you truly that fucking stupid? Yes. Dude, I was a virgin up until last yes. up until last December. That's not that's wow, okay. But yes. Dude ain't related to me at all. Like not even no, remotely. No. I've literally seen his DNA test that he brought with him. I've seen the birth certificate. He ain't my son, he, damn it. He, he, I'm telling you, my dude. I'm telling you. He ain't my fucking son. Maybe you need to connect. I don't know. I'd be crazy. He ain't my motherfucking son, you dumb <laughs> son of a bitch. Maybe he's crazy. I don't know. Maybe he got his hands in that seal, you know? He ain't my fucking uh, son, no. damn it. I think he is, though. I really do. He's not. He's Dude, got, he's fucking not. He's got your beard. He's got your voice. You, he's got your eyes. He's got he's your He's not my teeth. son. He is not my fucking son. He doesn't have your teeth, though. Pretty pretty sure pretty sure I'd know if I had a kid. Um so and, Chris, like and Chris, you know you know damn well that if I did have a have a kid, I would have trained them in the way of a sword, and you'd gotten your ass beat. Right. <sighs> that being said, how long has it been since you've last had a lightsaber duel? Oh. I'm not even going there. I am not even going there. <laughs> He's not going there? Why? Because it's been a while. I think the last time I actually, yeah, I think the last time I faced somebody was Eric. How long ago was that? Uh, <laughs> two, three years ago. Holy crap, dude. I've been keeping up and doing duels here and there, dude. I've kept my training well, up. You, the whole time. Yeah, but you've had opponents. People are terrified to face me here in Michigan. Jeez, maybe you should get the hell out of Michigan. I would if I could afford it. Not that hard, my friend. Trust me. That being said, how have you been? Meh. Same okay. shit, different day. Same shit, different day? Yep, same shit, different day. So you still stay just at like the Morris house and shit and just fucking... Play video games. Actually, uh, actually, I moved out of the Morris house. Really? Yeah, I'm. St I'm. I'm still in a group home, just a different one. Well, hey, that's good. I mean, at least you moved up ladder. Do they, do they still let you like go drink and smoke outside the place, or do they like completely really ban you? Uh, I'm able to drink when I'm not here, but no, it's. It's against straight. It's against state re regulations to allow residents to drink inside the inside the group home or on the group home's property. It's against state regulations. All right, state regulations. That makes sense. So, have you been doing any big videos lately? <clears throat> no. Nah, uh, you remember when you had that uh, small rut, rut where you uh, weren't feeling inspired to make videos and shit? 
Yeah. I'm basically having that same problem. Really? It's a bitch. Do you even have a lightsaber anymore? Or did I, I, I finally I finally understand why when you were in that rush, right, all you could do was bitch. Robert, <laughs> Robert, Robert, Robert. I just gotta ask, man, all right. Uh, uh, I, just, I kind of forgot the the question. I was gonna ask this there. <laughs> oh no, you're talking you're talking about that one. You're talking about that one situation that uh, of originally burned the bridge. Yeah, I was uh, to be completely honest, I was set up. Uh, you remember uh, you remember uh, Steam Dog. Of Discord? No, I don't remember them. Well, he uh, he's an adult. He's an adult who's friends with minors. Apparently, he did this uh, one. Uh, he back when I first met him, he claimed to be a fan, and he uh, did this. Discord version of a, of the Bachelor, I guess you could say. And we found out after the uh, after the fact that a couple of the female contestants were minors, and he claimed not to know, but he live streamed the entire thing on Twitch without telling me. Mind you, he did not tell me he was live streaming the entire th the entire thing on on Twitch. And when I found out, I went off on him. It's, but yeah, uh, the dude steam dog in question about back when this whole shit first started, he set me up, did not, did not tell me the girl's age or anything. He set me up, tricked me. Yeah, he basically. God, I freely admit, considering I want to think the best of people, and you know this, it's, it's one of my worst qualities because I've been, I like giving people the benefit of a doubt because I don't think that they're, that they're terrible people. Robert, 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 Robert. The problem is... But, I was, yeah, I was set up, and in, in essence, it's, I didn't realize her actual age until I did a background check on her name. Robert. <clears throat> so, that was not how the situation went down. Well, I was you, set up. You, you made That's, a video on YouTube. I was set you up. Know, let me talk, man. I just let you talk. I didn't interrupt Dude, you. I was set up. Robert, I didn't interrupt you. I I didn't interrupt you. So let me say some shit, man. Because the situation wasn't even that at all. You had uploaded a YouTube video to your original YouTube channel before you deleted it. Talking about how you were dating someone who was underage, but it was 14 was the age. If no, I'm it was 16. 16, either way. And hold it, let me hear you talking, please. And actually, technically, Chris, the legal age of consent in both Georgia, where she was, and here in Michigan is 16. Robert, 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 Robert. But Robert. That was her actual age. I was told she was older originally. So, can I talk? I was told she was older originally. Can I, can I talk? But. Can I talk? Can I talk? I was told she was re older originally, Chris. Robert, can I talk for a moment? Here's the thing, okay? You upload the video talking about it to your YouTube channel. 
It was my Twitch, actually. Let me let me let me finish here. No, it was upload your YouTube. You should leave your YouTube afterwards. I literally have someone that has a whole screen recording of it. All right. So let's not let's not oh, fight. Right? Yes. You deleted your oh, original wild, YouTube though. channel. You deleted your original YouTube channel, dude. You did. Yeah, because you wouldn't leave me alone. You deleted your original Discord because everyone was cussing you out about dating someone who was underage. No, I actually no that server's actually still up. I just ended up banning a bunch of people. Still, you had people that were telling you this was wrong, and you got upset. And the issue was when I came to you to get your side to come and listen to you, to give you the opportunity to talk and things like that. You met me with symbolisms of violence and threat. When I came to talk to you at your grandpa, <clears throat> your grandpa's, I came alone. I wasn't armed. I didn't have my phone on me. You didn't come to my grandparents' house after that. You just went off on you just went off on me in a video. You you did not show up at my grandparents' house to talk about this. First time you gotta think though, you've done this a few times. The first time, but the first time, and you noticed I was framed. You were in, you were in, I was sitting in the car next, I was sitting in the car in your van next to you, and we, and we talked about this, and you know I was framed the first time, motherfucker. Please. Here's the thing, Robert. The first time, I, I, you're right, I remember that was the first time. When you said that, and it's only happened twice. Robert, let me finish. The first time you had an allegation of this shit, you said someone called you saying you were dating their daughter, and that they were underage and need to leave alone. And you told me you told them to fuck off. Now, when I came over to talk to you about it that time, you sat there and came out with a baseball bat to talk with me, even though I told you, "Hey, I'm not coming armed. I won't even have my phone on when we talk. I'm not going to sit here and be a threat to you." But you brought a fucking weapon out with you to talk. Kept making threats, kept making gestures. And I had to fucking just leave at that point. Because I'm not going to have someone sit there and act like they want to fucking fight. When I'm just trying to talk to someone who's supposed to be my friend to get their side of shit. Because I know there's always two sides of fucking coin. And yet you didn't give me that. When there was a second time, I let that shit, I let that for fucking slide. I should never let that fucking slide. But I did. I was like, okay, I'll just fucking, I'll try to make things work. Whatever. It seems like it's just a troll. Did he just leave? I mean, whatever. I bought him a lightsaber just so he'd come on here to talk about shit. It's like, no, I don't give a fuck. They didn't even know this. Like, he doesn't even have a working lightsaber. And I busted all the fucking lightsabers I gave him. So I bought him a lightsaber just to come and try and give his side. And he won't even let me talk when I let him fucking talk. It's like, shit, dude. I thought this motherfucker was my friend. And the whole reason I brought him in tonight is I wanted to try and fucking mend a bridge. Are we still alive? Good. I wanted to see if I couldn't fucking mend a bridge. Get him to fucking admit he was fucking wrong and move on. That's what I fucking wanted to do. But I'm not going to have him sit here and fucking bullshit when I've got evidence and I've got proof. I got people who are there to witness the situation. I'm sorry, Robert, but you've got to face the fucking truth if you ever want to come back into this shit. And I know you want, I know you fucking miss me, dude. I know you wish you could get back into this stuff. And like, it's cool if you want to fucking change your life and move on. But like, you've got to fucking admit. What you did was fucking wrong and not bounce around it and try to piddle foot around it to try to make it somehow good. You're right. I fucked up. You're 100% right. I fucked up. I know I fucked up. I've, I'm not saying I'm proud of it. I'm really not. Then quit making up little stories to get around it. There are multiple points where this kind of thing has happened. It's only from my points. from my multiple from my regulation, it's only happened yeah, twice. Your side of things, and you've been telling people I never gave you the chance, motherfucker. Every situation we've ever had, I've tried to sit you down and talk to you. 
And every time you've met me with a fucking weapon. The first time it was the bat. Second time it was the knife. Third time it was the fucking crossbow. Actually, the that time with the crossbow had nothing to do had nothing to do with this situation. We and if you remember, and if you remember, before you let my grandparents out that house that time with the cross that time with the crossbow situation, I offered to send a crossbow that I had just put together right. back to your you house came, for you. you a loaded crossbow with no safety on it and your finger on the fucking trigger at me, Josh, and the dudes interviewing you that day, dude. Chris, no, no, yes, I know. I know I did that, and I'm sorry about that. But no, let me finish. You, If you remember correctly, before you left the house, I offered to send a crossbow back to your back with you to your apartment for home defense. Do you not remember that? I didn't, I didn't need a home defense. I had a fucking crazy ass roommate that had tried to kill me already before with a fucking knife. The last fucking thing I wanted uh, that gun. Gonna get gun or you know, gun. you didn't tell me that. At the time, you didn't tell me that. I couldn't. You were freaking out because we were trying to get the truth out of you. To find out what the fuck was going on. And actually, that uh, that time, it had nothing to do with that whole situation. That was actually... God, wasn't that... Yeah, that was about six, seven months before this whole situation happened. Robert, I need you to be fucking real here, dude. I really do. Because you got to think. How much fucking hell I've gone through because of this shit. <clears throat> Let me ask you this. Why did you leak my phone number and address multiple times? And I have receipts. I have receipts from one of the dudes that talked about buying it from you. And you were going to sell it to this guy. And, and I never actually it. did. I yeah. never act I never actually I got receipts. The motherfucker bought it from you and he texted me and everything, dude. Oh, that's it. right. I got receipts. I got screenshots. I got recordings. Oh, yeah. That I got to admit. Put the shit out there. Got to admit. And you realize after, and you realize after that, after that, and you asked me not to do it again, I haven't done it since. Since you asked me not to, I haven't done any I haven't done that since. And I, I, I need fucking real friends right now. And I'm like, I'm preaching up this. I think fuck. I want to try to give them another chance. And there's so much in me right now that is kicking my own ass. Tell me why are you giving them an opportunity? Because you know at the end of the day that nothing's really gonna come of this, and you're just losing out on a fucking lightsaber just to give them the opportunity to come give them this. But like, dude, you put me through so dude, much. I just with the allegations, right? Not even just with the fucking allegations, right? Let's talk about the first and original controversy, the original thing that you put me and my mother through hell with, and that to this day, I still deal with this shit. And that's when we were going through the process of possibly losing our home, and my mother got lucky enough to be put on a program they had at the time where they would forgive back taxes up to a certain point, and then you had to stay in the house for about five years, and you'd live there with like discounted taxes. I had nothing to do with that shit. I don't understand it all, but I do know it is an actual thing that the Michigan State Department does do. You sat there and told people I was lying about the GoFundMe, how we needed the funds, we were losing our home. Told people how I was fucking lying. And that was the first big thing that pissed a lot of people off. Can you tell me why you would do that? You didn't, even part the full, you didn't even know the full story. I was going to fill you in once I found out. Because I didn't find out about that until literally like a week after that GoFundMe was starting. My mother found out. And that's when we fucking cut it off. Because we started getting harassed by people who are your fans and shit. Who are hearing about this. And it's fucking I don't. I don't remember saying you were lying about the GoFundMe. I remember other people saying you were lying about the GoFundMe, and then and then me defending your ass about it. 
Well, guess what? I don't see how you defended me, man, because it was you who got that going. No, I I not want said you. But do you I will really admit. Do you I will really admit. At the time, that's how hard it is now for me to be able. I to really admit, admit that at the time you know, I did not you know, know. Do you know how difficult it is for someone like me right now to be able to do like fucking charity streams? I've wanted to do charity streams for so long, but I'm too afraid to reach out because oh, they might know about that controversy where there was fucking misinformation spread out. And you, you can't even lie to you have admitted in the past that it was wrong what you said. Yeah. It, I will freely admit I was misinformed at the time. Because someone you else didn't told me. Give me the chance to defend Chris, yourself, though. Chris, somebody you else told friend. me you were lying. Matter of fact, if I remember correctly, I think. God, that was so long ago. I can't even, I can't even remember who. Who originally told me you were lying? I just I'm, want answers. For I know this. it was, but I know from if I'm not really sure if it was someone in our whole group of friends, but I'm not sure what who originally you told me you were lying. Shit, that was my question. Big one. Where did I fucking huh? get that treatment? <sighs> would you would come over, and anytime we go out to eat, I covered your food. Yeah, I know. Compare the fucking situation. Always showing up with a good present on the birthday. Always trying to show up and make sure I had something for Christmas for you. It was always there for you. It's kind of shitty I bring up the stuff I spend on. Because at the end of the day, we were friends hanging out. It doesn't fucking matter. But the thing is, like, I did this all with you. And, like, we, we, we grew up together. We fucking experienced yeah. it together. So when all these controversies came up and all that would have required was just a five-minute conversation between the two of us. Well, keep in mind that, that, we had actually, that we'd actually lost contact for more than five years because, because of uh, Bethany, my mom. It doesn't matter. All these controversies that happened throughout our time on YouTube, if you would have just taken five minutes to call and talk to me before saying anything about it, you could have had shit cleared up. And I would have shown yeah. you seats. I would have shown you. I would have showed you evidence. But Chris, Chris, you know I'm impulsive. I've always been impulsive. That's bad. I know. Because I'm not. I, I'm, not I'm not. I'm not. I'm not saying that me being impulsive is a good thing. I'm not even remotely claiming it is. Motherfucker, because unlike you, unlike you, every time you've had a negative controversy. I gave you that five minutes. I gave you that conversation. I yeah. didn't get that info from you. And you never wanted to talk about it. You did everything you could to avoid those conversations. Because, and that's what it hurts. Because I was I'm a used, friend, dude. Because I'm used to keeping that shit close to the vest. It's, it's at this point, after so many years of, of keeping that shit close to the vest, that's my first instinct. My first instinct when controversy comes up, when negative controversy comes up, my first instinct is to keep it close to the vest and bottle it up. I'm My first instinct isn't to talk about it. That doesn't even remotely relate to things like the first controversy. I will freely admit I was misinformed that first one. And I, won't sit here, I won't sit here and act like I'm the biggest fucking angel on earth. I'm not. I made mistakes. I was a dickhead at times. All right? I smoked. We before, both were. Right? We I both were, to be honest. Much, right? But, like, dude, not only that, but every time we'd hang out, and you can't even deny this. Because Mike's even sat there and said, well, goddamn, why isn't Robert doing this? These are your guys' videos. I'd be sitting there, back in my notebook or on my iMac, typing this shit up, getting scripts ready while you're just playing video games. You do you do you do realize you never actually you never you actually you handed me the scripts. Do you realize when it comes to the full force crew, you are the Vin Diesel of it? And you want to know what I mean by that? You basically made it so that no matter what video you were playing, 
no matter what character you were doing, you had to win. It's the same thing with Vin Diesel. He is he has okay. in his contracts every movie that he does, he can never lose at the end of the movie. He always has, but he can't even tie. He has okay. to win. We can change that. That's not a problem. I'll just have to uh, I'll have to figure out how to I'll have to figure out how to curb that first instinct, I guess. Cause my first instinct is not and you and you notice my first instinct when it comes to fights is not to surrender. Right? You've seen this. We weren't fighting. We were trying to make stories. We were trying to make videos. Yeah, that's true. But it, we in, my, in my, to in, fight. You in my mind... Fight. When I went and rewatched Full Force, you were talking about how you were just friends because you like to hurt me. No. I mean, don't get me wrong. There are some times where shortly before we'd film one of those lightsaber duels, you'd say something and and it didn't make my temper flare. And then that usually resulted in what you and what you'd refer to as me going full force. More often than not in the lightsaber duels where where you've said I've gone full force, it the whole reason it's Seemed like it gone full force is because I was fighting angry. Because surely, I think like ten minutes before that video, you'd, matter, you'd say something and it would piss me off. And it doesn't matter though, dude. We're supposed to be friends. I I want to hurt something, but and uh, that's not good. I know. You need to take your fuck. I know. At, at the time, that's concerning. At the time, I had a lot of anger. I freely admit that. But I recently let go of the vast majority of my anger, which is one of the whole reasons why I'm even here right now. Then why don't I believe you? That's you one of the whole reasons. You, you literally took off earlier, and if it wasn't for fucking Blaze, you wouldn't have come back. Let's be no, honest. No, it wasn't Blaze. It wasn't Blaze. It wasn't Blaze. It wasn't Blaze that. It wasn't Blaze that got me to come back. It was. It was somebody else I knew who told me to come back. But mm -hmm. no, I, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I, I didn't mm -hmm. wait. I didn't. You know, I can see. The I can show you the screenshots, Chris. I can show you the screenshots of the guy of the guy sending sending me the text before I came before I came back. I can send you the screenshots. That's not a problem. But like I said, I. I left because I was, I will freely admit, I don't take criticism well. I freely admit that. That's one of my bigger flaws. I do not take criticism well. I've never taken criticism well. I'm proud of. I freely admit that. I left because I was kind of annoyed, I guess. I don't know. Uh, but I wasn't angry. I was just annoyed, I guess. Yeah, it's... Uh, you I'm sorry I left. You I'm sorry I left. Do you want to know one of the reasons why I stopped talking to you for a very long time? Sure. Hit me with it, I guess. Doctor's order. Really? Combination of my therapist and my actual physical doctor. Huh. I'm sorry. I'm s God, I had I had no idea. I'm sorry I put and you through that shit. You were doing to, this is shit you were doing to someone who you called your friend. Yeah, I'm I, this is I didn't even realize that to be honest. I'm sorry. You would have your best fucking friend. Doc's your best fucking friend. When your best fucking friend gave you every opportunity to defend yourself, you said "fuck you" and spat in his face. I'm. I didn't even. I didn't even realize I was putting you through all that shit, dude. 
<sighs> Realize you pushed my mother into the doorway and gave her a bruise on her fucking hip one time? I don't and remember you doing that. Just walked away? I do not remember doing that. Yeah. I'm really shocked. Yeah, dude. She was in the doorway talking to me in the cat room by her living room. You went to come out. You bumped into her and ended up shoving her into the doorway, which gave her a bruise. You didn't even apologize. You didn't even look at her, dude. Because, I didn't, like, even, oh, yes. because I didn't even realize I'm I did. Because I'm being blunt at this point because, like, dude, I feel so offended on how you've even approached this. Like, I'm going to be honest. I, I can't say what I should have done on YouTube. I can't. I, 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 I really can't. But, like, I should have snapped right then and there. But I fucking didn't. I kept giving you excuse after excuse. Okay, he's got this, he's this issue, this issue, this issue. But the thing is, I've met people with worse issues, and they don't, they understand what's right from wrong. I right. didn't even realize I had bumped into her. Because I, I, cause I do remember that day. I do remember that day. I'm just trying to rip every fucking Band-Aid off that's on the body of whatever the fuck this used to be. I do remember that day. I, I remember that day, but I, dude, I, I don't even remember actually bumping into her. I, I, I really did not. Know, I, I thought I, I thought when I went through that doorway, I completely missed her. To be completely honest, I didn't even realize I'm, I unintentionally bumped into her. I really didn't. If I had noticed I had bumped into her, I can I can one hundred percent guarantee guarantee you I'd have asked her if she was all right and I had to apologize. I didn't even notice I bumped into her. I thought I I you legit no, thought you know, I had enough space to me and her you know, in the doorway to get through. I think what hurts the absolute fucking most, Robert. I think what hurts the absolute fucking most is I invite you to come on. And I had to fuck it and get a saber just to know that you'd actually come on, man. And I think we both know that if I, I was planning, I was planning on coming on anyway. Bro, we we know that's we both know that's wrong. They, I I mentioned that I already had a white saber. I, I mentioned I told Blaze that I already had a white saber, but it just didn't light up. I was I was fully intending on using a white saber I already had. For the for the duels, I was fully intending to, but then Blaze said, "No, we'll get you." Because you were trying to get us buy you fucking multi hundred dollar. No, I originally said that I had an I had a white signal already. It just didn't light up because I fucked up the wiring in a fight with my younger sibling. The thing is, and then he offered. I and then he offered. Why. I just want to fucking know why. <sighs> because I want to be able to bring you fucking back, dude. You know, if you want, you guys can cancel the lightsaber. Crit. I you know. know. Robert, no. You listen to me, damn it. All right. See, you do this every time. You get called out for something. Someone tries to do something for you, regardless of what you fucking did. And you're like, oh, well, don't fucking do it. It's like, no. Fucking talk. Okay. Shoot. Fucking whatever. It's happening. You need one to fucking do your shit. I'd rather see you have one to do whatever the fuck you need to do. Well, it's just a nice cheap one anyway. But the thing is, I wanted to know if there was any possibility to get you back on. There is. But like, I am a hundred percent. I came to talk to. I came to ask hard questions because I needed to see how you would approach those hard questions. I am a hundred percent down with working with you again. I'm gonna be. Honest. Honest. If I'm making fully honest, I've missed this. I've got, if I'm making fully really honest, I've missed this. this. I've got to really think about this, dude. I really do. Because I came, I came here and gave the opportunity to answer these questions that were very serious that needed to happen. Yeah. I fucking missed you. I was like, fuck it. Let's try it. See what happens. You know? All right. Ask your questions then. Ask. I, I, I did. 
a lot of my questions were I'm trying to find out why certain things happen. I wanted to see how you would approach them, how you would actually answer them. Was he going to actually fully man up or was he going to dance around it? And a lot of the shit you danced around, dude. I like, actually, I really got, I really ask, got ask me the questions again then. Ask me the questions again then. I'm done I'm dancing around them. I'm not through this stuff again, dude. I'm not, I'm not going to rerun through all this. Because then you've had practice and now you know what to say to get what you want. No, I'm not. I'm not, not how this fucking works. I'm not going to re do re whole rehearsals or anything like that. Just, I'm going to be sure. That opportunity. That's the thing. You've already been through once. Now you know exactly what to say to do. I'm not, I'm not going through it again. All right. But I need time to think about this. I really do. Okay. I really fucking do. I really do because I want to. I fucking really admit I fucked I up. I want to fucking bring you back on, but I feel like you really don't understand and see the whole scope of what what happened, what you did not just to me, but to my fucking mother, the people who we were friends with. I want to go back to the fucking times we had. We laugh our asses off at the fucking lake because fuck it. We just wanted to go swim for a bit. I miss the fucking days back when I used to have the go karts and the fucking mini bikes. And we go fucking racing around. And fucking every so often we fucking wipe out and just laugh at each other. I miss those fucking days, dude. You know, I swear to God, one time, one time I took that corner way too fast. And I swear to God, I, I thought I was going to, I, and I swear to God, I thought I was going to roll that go-kart. I swear to God, I thought I was going to roll that go-kart. Yeah, because the motherfucker had a 500cc fucking oh, snowmobile engine on the thing. What'd you expect? <laughs> swear to God, I thought I, thought I was going to roll that bitch. No, I, there's a reason I didn't let too many people drive that green go-kart, because the damn thing wasn't tuned right. I was trying to tune it so I could do racing. And Honestly, I, wreck, I could tell. Because God, that bitch had, had some kick to it. And my <laughs> thing is, I fucking wrecked that. I don't know if you ever remember that, but I fucking wrecked it. Wrapped around a fucking tree. Yeah. I don't know. Honest to God, I'm surprised that tree was still standing. Because you, you, you hit that tree. Because that thing was a fucking total wreck. Okay. I'm honest. I'm honestly surprised you walk away from that, cause, cause that tree fucked that go kart up. Yeah. I was surprised. I was surprised you were actually able to walk away from that shit. I know. Like dead ass, my dear. I miss those fucking days. You walk. You walked away. I my whole. Am I? Am I? And my whole thought process when I walked up to the go kart was, you know, looking at Chris. Looking at this, Chris is one lucky SOB. <laughs> I miss the days going to air shop. Honestly, I, I still got my gear. In fact, I recently, uh, with my last uh, stimulus check, I bought a re I bought a replacement in 1911. Yeah, Josh threw out 90% of my gear. I got a gun now, but like I got to get a new high set and everything. Well, when... I got to get a new... Eventually. I, uh... I actually have all my gear in a uh, antique footwalker that my uh, great grandma that my great grandma owned when she was uh, younger. I got all my uh, I got my gear, my ammo, CO two, my nineteen eleven. Robert, if I were to bring you back on and shit, how could I know for sure? No more of this type of controversy comes up. Like without a doubt, for sure, it's never going to happen again. Well, more uh, widely, when something like this has come up, I'm in, I as as soon as they tell me their age, more often than not, I block them. Absolutely, no, one hundred percent of the time, I block them because after this latest con controversy, I've been careful, like extremely fucking careful. Because I frankly don't want it to happen again. I won't, I'm not going to allow it to happen again. And how can we guarantee that? How can we guarantee that? 
Well, as soon as, honestly, as soon as someone even approaches me about hooking me, hooking me up with someone, because I'm, I currently have a girlfriend at the moment. I currently have one, and she is 28. And thanks to her, I've actually let go with the vast majority of my anger that mm -hmm. I that I had bound up. Thanks to her, I have to let go of the vast majority of it. Believe it or not, I'll see it when I believe it. Yeah, I know. I've I've had anger issues in the past. I I apologize for that. It's uh, I'm not proud. I'm not proud of my past to be honest. I'm not proud of how many times I've hurt you. I'm not proud of how many times I hurt Sue. I 100% admit I have made mistakes. I don't claim to be perfect because cause Lord knows I'm not. We're, we're only human. Nobody's perfect. I, I know that's better than most. We've spoken differently in the past. Yeah. We, we definitely, I definitely acted differently in the past. I will freely admit that. Then again, we both we both acted very differently in the past. We've uh, we both had our ups and downs. We've <laughs> hell, we've been total assholes to each other. Uh, to each other, like what was it? Every uh, every two years, we get into a fight, give or take a couple months. Yeah. Then we get into we get into a fight every two years over some stupid shit. Yeah, and it usually gets started by you. Okay, I freely admit I had anger problems. And then usually I have to be the one that fucking takes the L, calm you the fuck down, everything else. That that won't be the case anymore. I've I've let go of all but know that I'm maybe not I let go of maybe all but About a year's worth of ang anger, but that's mainly because that year's worth of anger has to do with uh, Tabby, my mom. I I told you about what all she did when I was younger, if you remember. Yeah, I know, I know. Um, she was the whole reason I had as much anger. I had as much anger problems as I as I as I did back then, if you remember. I told. I've, I've told her, I've told you what she was like and all the shit she pulled. <clears throat> Would you want to this is um this is a huge risk I'd be taking. Would you want to come to New York? To have a lightsaber duel? Dude, I'd love to go to New York. I have actually never been to New York. I've never been. Uh, I've been I've been I've been to the West Coast. I've never been to the Far East Coast. Not once. If you want to do if you want to do a lightsaber duel, we could try to set something up. Um if you wanted to come out to do a duel again, maybe see how things go. Fair warning. Fair warning. I'm more than a little bit rusty, so you actually, so you're actually more than likely gonna be able to kick my ass. I'll take it. <laughs> I easy. am more than a, I am more than a little bit rusty. I haven't actually faced anyone in a full duel in more than four years. Yeah. You still do Yu-Gi-Oh? Uh, I actually, I actually retired my deck. I gave my, uh, I gave my custom built that deck to my younger sibling. Oh, you remember Beck? You remember Beck, I right? I remember him. Yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I retired my custom built deck and and passed it on to him. So I actually don't <coughs> have a hard copy deck anymore. You should get into Magic the Gathering. I feel like you'd enjoy it. I used to have a rainbow deck in high school. Yeah. But uh, after were high you, school... Were you, were you with the rainbow crew? Oh, ha, ha, ha. 
Chris, love you, bro, but fuck you. <laughs> Yeah, there, was there was actually a group of players. They were called the Rainbow Crew. Wait, there. Wait, there is. That wasn't just a, uh, was a local battle. That wasn't. Yeah. That but wasn't just a. Uh, that wasn't. That wasn't a play on words for gay pride or something. No, it was just like they literally had a group of three people that called themselves the Rainbow Crew. Oh no, I. I I hadn't even. I hadn't even heard. I hadn't even heard of the Rainbow Crew at all. But no, I had Have you back seen? when I was back when I was uh, back when I was in high school. Because uh, the during lunch, we uh, me the teacher and a couple me the teacher and a couple other guys would uh, play Magic the Gathering. I had a Rainbow mm -hmm. deck in high school, but. Uh, but after, but after high school, since I didn't have anybody to play Magic the Gathering with anymore, I actually got rid of my deck. What the hell is up with this guy? This guy repeatedly calling me on Discord. What the actual fuck? Can't you? So, so how's your grandpa been? Someone keeps calling them on Discord, I guess. Damn. He had to like hop off because Discord called him. It's right there. You just have to have I don't know how to work this stuff program. You use this. I don't. I use Streamlabs like a big boy. Sorry about that. This fucking dude <clears throat> named uh, Manipool is currently blowing up my Discord. I declined every single one of his calls. Honestly, it's starting to annoy me. <laughs> oh, look, man. Why don't we... Um... <laughs> Putting Discord, like, it has to change your life, right? Huh? Did you quit Discord? Nah, because the girl I'm dating, I talked to her on Discord. Yeah, but you don't have like a dedicated Discord, right? Oh, I do. I have a dedicated Discord server. I actually, yeah, I, 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 I'm like, I'm like you. I have a, I have a Discord server. You know what? I swear to God, I swear to God, I'm just gonna start. I'm just gonna ban this. I'm just gonna block this fucker. He don't leave me. You know what? I'm just blocking this piece of shit. Hang on. Give me a second. I literally just sent this guy a text saying, if you keep going on my shit, I'm going to block you. <laughs> Hell yeah. And right before I sent that message, he said, I'm sorry, but it's important. I was like, dude, if you keep going on my shit, I'm blocking your ass. <laughs> oh, I know. I know. You need to do that. You know how I am. When someone blows up my shit, my first instinct is to block them pretty much instantly. <laughs> But yeah, we'll have to talk, we'll have to talk more later tonight and try to see what we can set up. But yeah, you should totally come out to New York. We definitely should try and... Uh, uh, yeah, if uh, if Blaze is willing to come to Battle Creek to pick me up so that I can bring my airsoft gear with me. Bro, uh, we are in states the fuck away. There is like no way that's happening.
I mean, I guess we could try to Uber you. I mean, do you realize how expensive? You realize how how expensive an Uber is gonna be going from Battle Creek, Michigan, to fucking New York, New York. <laughs> yeah, Michigan's about eight to ten hours. Yeah, it really is. Swear to God, the dude just the dude just called me two fucking times. At this point, two more times. I'm at this point. I'm just gonna block him. Just do it, man. Do it. Sound. Just going Why? He, he, he apparently wanted <laughs> wanted me to shout out his friend. Do not. Um, I wasn't going to. I just flat out blocked the dude. It's just, yeah, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but if you uh, uh, actually that was that was Adam who was just calling me. He says hi. Yeah. Adam says hi, and that he wants you to call him, apparently. Oh, all right. All right. But, yeah, dude wanted, dude wanted me to uh, show out, shout out his friend, and I just, uh, nah, I, I'm sorry, but if I have to warn you once that if you keep on up my shit, I'm going to block you. And you proceed to blow my shit two more times? Hell yeah, I'm blocking you. Are you still dealing with that video game addiction? Depends what video game you're referring to. I currently have I currently have 95 different games installed on my Xbox. Yeah, that already answered me. So yeah, I'm a gamer. <laughs> How about you? What you been up to? Focus on making content. Trying to get things going. You know. Okay. Do you know what summer? Getting cheap massages. Hey, do you know what summer? P i s s f r t on Discord. Not by heart, no. I just got a friend request from that person and one other dude, and I have no idea who they are or even There's how the hell, more, or, even, or even how the hell they got a hold of my tag. All right, man. Look, I, I. I want you to try and have a good night, man. Hopefully things can work out between us. But yeah. Yeah, I'm honestly surprised we we actually managed to have a civil conversation, but but honest to God, that Robbie fellow is not my son. He is that. No, he's fucking he not. Has, he has the test that dude that. is too old to be my to be my son, Chris. He that dude is too old, old to be my son. Yeah, he has your scars and birthmarks. He has text results. He has a birth certificate. I don't have any birthmarks. None. Mm -hmm. And he ain't my son. He is. No, I know if I had a kid. I don't have a kid. I mean... But I 100% guarantee you that I want him... That I want to meet the guy who claims to be my son when I come out to New York. I want to meet him. He's, got, he's got the legal documentation, so yeah. Primarily because I'm not going to believe it until I see it myself. <laughs> I 
I refuse to believe he's my kid until I see in, until I see see it with my own eyes. I refuse to believe something. it. Let me ask something before we end the stream here. What are you gonna do? You will child support this motherfucker. Huh? What are you gonna do if you owe child support to that motherfucker? I don't. I. D the only purse, the only, I've only fucked one girl, and that was last December, and I know for a fact she was, she was on birth control. I've only ever, I've only ever fucked a single person, Chris, you know this. Because the entire times we were friends, I was a virgin, and you know that for a fact, because you'd haze me for it. You'd give me shit for being a virgin still. Yeah, but then there were times you'd be like, oh, maybe I am, maybe I'm not. So I'm yeah, well, you. I may have said that, but I I was 100% a virgin. I was a virgin up until December of last year, and I'm not even I'm not even going into that story. Nope, I'm not even going there. Remember, it's just none of your bitch. He got a hooker. No, it wasn't a hooker. Uh, but I'm not going into that story, because frankly, it's none of y'all, it's none of anybody... Anybody's on YouTube's business. You may you may tell tell people tell pe people about your sescapades, but as far as I'm concerned, that ain't nobody's business but my own. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there are some stories that I refuse to tell people. <laughs> and the first time I had sex happens to be one of the stories that I refuse to tell people. <laughs> So, according to this Robbie fella, right, he was made in a lab, like a DNA clone of you. Now, ask yourself this question. How the fuck did they get a sample of my, D of my DNA? Doctors? Fuck. Exactly. <sighs> Uh but according to but according to now according to now Jane even past the animal phase yet, is it? Oh dear lord, man. It is. Well, I'm about to Google some shit later. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They've been calling plants for a very long time. You do realize cause, 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 damn it, now I gotta look into this shit. <laughs> Yeah. But, but like I said, well, if, if he is a clone of me, then I wouldn't be liable to child support anyway. Because look, all I know is, man, I'm excited for we to link back up, hopefully. And um, so how am I getting out there? We'll try and figure something out. All right. Because if you want, you can have. Blazer, add your Discord into a group with me, you, and Blaze in it, and we can talk that way. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Because I don't have a, I don't have a cell phone with a working phone plan at the moment, so oh. it ain't like, so so it ain't like I'd be able to call call your cell phone or anything like that anyway. <laughs> Not that I even have your number anymore anyway, because I flat out. When when we quit talking, I deleted it from my contacts and deleted the text chain. I wiped it all out of my phone. You had to use this giddy cat. Nah, I was that was back before I let go of my rage. It's yeah, it's yeah. You was a I wasn't in the right mind. That's for sure, man. <clears throat> Anyhow. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm gonna be honest, this has been one fun stream. But uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and call it. It is hot as hell up in this bitch. It was it was ninety it was ni ninety-six degrees last uh weekend before last here in Battle Creek. 
Yeah. I know. 90 fucking degrees outside. Jesus Christ. Anyhow, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go ahead and peace out. Go downstairs, sit the fan, and cool down. Robert, let's chat more later. Uh, hey, Blaze, I'll call you later. Hell yeah. Peace, everybody.